My furniture is here, y'all. I'm so excited. Thank you guys. This couch it's a pretty blue it's like a navy but not quite navy almost like a silvery blue so it's either this one or this one believe it or not I have my eye on this red one this one is three pieces, three pieces, um, two single ones, and then this triple cedar. And then this one is more of a, this one is like a sectional. I really like this one. she beautiful my couches are here let me show you let me turn it around and show you you guys these are my couches so it's actually a sectional, right? So that end right there joins right there. But I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I want them to be apart like this. I just feel like they look better. Um, they look like two separate pieces, but it's really a sectional. But anyway, um, the yellow pillows, um, didn't come with the couches. I am just right now playing around with different color combinations and I already had these two yellow pillows. So I'm just, you know, playing around with colors. I do want some bright colors in here. Um, I wanna put like a painting or something over there, but I just feel like I want it to, I want it to symbolize living in the islands, bright colors, um, vibrant colors. So, even if I don't go with these yellow pillows, I might do some other colorful pillows that go well with the blue. But I'm so excited. Um, that one you can actually sleep on because it's long enough. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Hi, you guys. So, <clears throat> first let me say, welcome back to another one of my videos. It's been a minute. No. Is this too close? Oh, you guys, first let me say, welcome back to another one of my videos. It's been a minute. I know I haven't, you know, filmed. I really haven't even filmed. I haven't filmed and I haven't shared anything in a while. Um, you know, sometimes life just takes over. But I definitely... Um, want to come back on and I, I want to you know I want to share more about what's been going on I've been busy as a bee even if I haven't posted anything I have been busy um, just trying to get the house you know up and running and feeling comfortable feeling like a home let me tell you these coaches I am so excited about my coaches I'm just like to be able to come in my living room and sit down and not have to go sit on my bed that just, that is everything to me. To have people come over and have a place to sit, that is everything to me. 
but um yeah you guys so let me just give you a quick update because i don't want to ramble on and on so obviously i got my couches i'm excited about that i also have like a tv and um a little entertainment i don't know, wouldn't call it entertainment center but like a nice little tv stand um you guys it, it's jamaica and it's june so you know it's it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter um i went ahead and got two ac units one for each bedroom and getting these my ac put up yay for ac i'm excited um that cost me a pretty penny like i'm i'm done i'm done spending my budget when i tell you my budget has been decimated my poor little budget Woo. anyway i got two ac units for one in each bedroom and that set me back uh, about two hundred thousand it was like 198 so roughly two hundred thousand jamaican dollars which is like 13 1400 us dollars um also this beautiful sectional couch was 169 because i got it at quartz right so it was 169 after taxes it was like 197 so and then with delivery charges again roughly 200,000 so like all these big numbers just coming at me you know um so that's probably two of the biggest things that I've done since you guys last saw me definitely had to get AC like nobody wants to be in bed at night sweating well if you're trying to sleep you don't want to be sweating right um, I don't want to be sweating in the, when I'm trying to sleep. Now, in the daytime when I'm running around doing things, I don't mind, right? Um, I did not get AC in the living room where I am right now just because I couldn't afford it. It's, it's um, my budget couldn't afford it. Like right now, I don't want to be spending that much money. Maybe next year when I make a little bit more money, I can get AC in my living room but for now i'm just gonna have to do without it i'm gonna put some ceiling fans up and call it a day the living room is a much bigger area so it's gonna run me an additional 200 maybe two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to get ac in my living room like that is just not in my budget right now that's that's that and, and it's not a necessity right um, so that's probably the two big things I've done. AC in the bedrooms, a new couch, TV. Uh, oh, you guys, I also got like a, I also got a washing machine, okay? Um, let me show you, let me show you my washing machine. So here is the beauty, my little washing machine, you guys. Ah, oh, this washing machine has saved my hands, it has saved my back, it has saved everything. And so I'm just excited for her. Um, I've been, I'll be doing a lot more laundry in here. And, um, that is, that is her. So, I got the washing machine. I wasn't planning on getting a washing machine, you guys. I, I thought that, I really thought that I would be able to wash clothes by hand. Like, I remember washing my little uniform them, my little panty them when I was little. I remember, I remember washing. So I just thought that I would just reach back into my memory and I would be able to wash by hand, right? Because I wanted to be able to save money and not buy, you know, just be able to cut down on my costs. So, but I do remember washing. I remember the scripts and scripts. I remember my blue soap. I remember my little brush. But you guys, when when my laundry started building up in there, and I saw my jeans, big old heavy thick jeans, my towels, my bed sheets, and then them more washing, and I'm supposed to wash them by hand. 
all those heavy duty things like listen man i know that there are people out there who wash by hand and i say kudos to you my hat goes off to you but you guys i couldn't manage it i could not manage so i buckled under the pressure and i went and bought me a washing machine yes i did and so now i can do my laundry in peace i can hang my sheet out oh i even got a um i got a clothesline put up i didn't get a dryer i just feel like i don't understand why people have a dryer in jamaica for the people who have dryers if, okay so if you're living in jamaica and you have a dryer please tell me why it is you have a dryer this is jamaica the sun hot you don't need no dryer anyway i did not get a dryer i just got a clothesline now let me tell you something. For the price of that clothesline, I could have gotten a dryer. You know that? For the price of that clothesline, the man charged me 18,000 Jamaican dollars to put up a clothesline. And he pissed me off so much, the man did not even come with a, with, he put up the, the iron post, right? But he didn't even come with a proper line to line up the thing. So now I have to go find a line he, and just put some little piece of wire. Anyway, anyway, I don't even want to get into this. On, on another video, I will talk about some of the disappointments that I've had. Just like kind of some of these workmen are, have a little scammy vibe to them, you know? Like when people sense a little bit of fire in this fire, them just want double the price, triple the price, fuckle the price, as Oliver would say. So anyway but i do have a clothesline it cost me a pretty penny um and it's a gucci clothesline it's, it's a gucci clothesline I, I i have decided that my clothesline is a gucci clothesline and if you don't believe me that it's a gucci clothesline come let me show you it's a gucci clothesline it has to be for that price <laughs> So there is my clothesline, you guys. This is my clothesline. That's my house. That's my little fruit tree right there. This is my clothesline. You guys see it? And see, there's a cup cheap string the man them use. Come, 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 set up me something. I have to get a proper, proper string and not this fool fool something them them put on me something. But that's my clothesline. And for those of you who doubted me when I said it was a Gucci clothesline, you see right there, so it's Gucci. Yeah, man, it's Gucci. Yep, Gucci. But you guys didn't know Gucci did clothesline. Sure, you guys, let me tell you, God has blessed me with some really good neighbors. Okay, let me let me turn this camera on and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, you guys, do you see all those little plants and things down there? You know where that came from? Those are cuttings. One of my neighbors, as I was walking through the neighborhood one day, you know, I got to talking with her. that bike go by but yes I was talking to my neighbor and I just told her that I you know I want to plant up my yard and my neighbor sent me home you guys with all of these cuttings you hear me she sent me home with all of those cuttings right down there so I came home I put them in some water and it's been a couple weeks now so I'm hoping that I'll have some roots in there because I want to pot them up. I went and got these pots at the, the Chinese store. See, they're like three hundred dollars for these pots. So I grabbed a hand, I grabbed like six or seven of them, and I'm going to um, I'm going to get those cuttings out of the water and um, get them potted up. I want my veranda just to look so beautiful and tropical. That's my plan. I want my veranda to look beautiful and tropical. 
and some of them I also want to bring inside because I need some house plants also. Um, yesterday, you guys, I went to Rapid True Value. Rapid True Value is like Home Depot. It's like a it's like a small Home Depot. So I went there yesterday, and I picked up some potting soil. That's like potting soil. And ooh, you, you see my old time broom, you guys. That old time broom is ooh, I love that little broom. But anyway, I got some potting soil yesterday, and I'm just going to use that to pot up my plants. So yeah, you guys, that is the chore. That is the chore for today. I'm potting up plants today. Um, guys can you see this this one I, like, I don't even know the lighting if you're able to see but this is a coleus and I absolutely love it you see this one has a few it has a few um, roots on there let me see if I have a better one to show you like I don't know if you can see the roots but these already have roots on them so I'm gonna go ahead and plant them I feel like, I think I'm supposed to wait until these plants have roots before I put them in dirt, but I feel like the dirt will also help them get roots. So, I don't know, I don't remember. I love to garden, but I'm not the best gardener, okay? I think I just like playing in the dirt. <laughs> I just like to play in the dirt. I don't like cutting grass, I don't like weeding, but like growing pretty flowers and like growing vegetables and them, them kind of something there? Yeah, I might think that. So anyway, I'm gonna plant my coleuses. You guys, I find gardening to be really like peaceful. You know what I mean? I find it to be real peaceful. Like once you can get the bugs under control, I find gardening to just be kind of like, you know, just a nice little quiet moment. You and your, you and the Mother Earth. I think I'm gonna leave those leaves on there. Maybe I could take off some more of those leaves. guys I am heading down to my neighbor yes I'm, uh, it's an umbrella it is sun hot out here it's like one o'clock and the sun hot so I'm having a look at umbrella but I'm heading down to my neighbors because she's like three doors down from me and she promised me that when I got my potted soil she have some plants ready for me and because your girl love her freeness, we can't wait. It hasn't even been 24 hours since I got my potted soil. 
but I'm coming for my free plants. Not cutting plants. I see. I have my bag ready to scoop up all my plants. If she will allow me to film, I will film. But it's her private home, so you know you got to be careful with stuff like that. But anyway, I may reach already. Yes, your quick. Yes, your cool. She is. <laughs> So you guys, I'm here at my neighbor's house. I want to show you her flowers. I want to show you what my veranda, I want my veranda to look like, okay? I'm going to turn this around so you can see. You guys see that? You see all those pretty flowers? You see that? All, she has them hanging all on her grill, all up to the sides and down. You see all of that? So I come with my bag. I'm going to go on with some free plants in this bag and then little more I'm going to take you guys in the backyard and show you some of the fruit trees she has back there because those fruit trees that's how I want my backyard to look and you see all the flowers there you guys see all of that like she has a great um, green thumb and I'm hoping that I'll be able to this one is so pretty look at this one you guys so look at this one it just looks so pretty let me show you guys all of her flowers look at these look at that little one over there isn't that just gorgeous guys these things this is what makes a home this is what makes a home beautiful in my opinion anyway like flowers and stuff like that it just adds to a home I'm, it just adds to a home. Anyway, I'm gonna take her on back in a little bit. I so you can check out this beautiful backyard. Do you see that? See, my house is like down there. You see my house right down there. But look at that, you guys. This is what a backyard is supposed to look like. And by the grace of God, in a couple of years, this is gonna be me. I'm gonna turn it around so you guys can see. We're gonna get closer. Okay, you guys see this tree right here? That's a rock she's using to kind of hold the branches down. But this one is what? This is a sweet sap. Sweet sap. This is a sweet sap. I think some people call that sugar apple in some um, parts of the country of the world. She has like a papaya tree. Do you see that? I've actually she's actually gave me a, a, pa a papaya off of it, and it was so delicious. She has some papaya plants down there that she's going to give me some papaya plants so I can't wait for those to go in my yard um, some kind of citrus fruit I'm not sure what that is it's like what is this orange or grapefruit lemon lemon like real lemon not lime but lemon wow there's gungu you guys it looks like it's gonna rain there's gungu there's banana that's pear, right? Pear tree. More banana are planting. I can't figure out which one. That one is banana. And then that one is planting. And you guys, look at the mountains up there. See the mountains up there? Come yeah, on. Then this one here is guava. See, I'm a country girl, you know. I'm a country girl. I, I remember some of these plants. You see the little baby go over them I come? You see them? Yes. This one is the infamous Aki. And the Akis are pushing out right now. There's more um, papaya. She have a bird. How one bird that? There's a scotch bonnet with some peppers on it. See a little scotch bonnet. And this is what this is cherry, right? Yeah. Cherry. And then we come back over here. This is this is the sweet sap. Hey, you guys. So I am actually back home now. I actually had to hurry up and come back home because it has gotten really dark outside. I mean, this is only like half an hour later, and. It looks like the skies are about to open up. Let me show you. Like this is what it, this is what the sky is looking like. 
and like a pure thunder and, and, and you hear that? So I feel like it's getting ready to rain any minute now. The skies are gonna open up, which I'm not mad at because my plants around back could really use the water, the rain water. Um, so, but anyway, you guys, let me show you what my my um, my other neighbor gave me that I just went to her house and show you her backyard. She gave me those two plants right there. And then she gave me a bunch of cuttings. Some of them already have roots. Um, look at this pretty one. It's so pretty, you guys, and it already has roots on it. So she gave me that. Um, she gave me, look at this one. Look at this one, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? It has like roots already. It is so gorgeous. I mean, the leaves are so gorgeous. That one is damaged, but yeah, man, she gave me some really pretty ones, stuff with like bulbs. This will almost look like an onion, you know, but it's some kind of plant. Um, and some of these can definitely go inside my house because I do want plants inside my house to just to kind of keep the air. Woo, here comes the rain. But um, yeah, so I'm excited. I'm excited for these plants. This one is so pretty. Look at the leaves. That one is also so pretty. So I'm about to trans transplant these and um, put these in pots. Oh boy, this place is gonna look like a garden of Eden. Really, it really is. But um, yeah, you guys, the rain has started. See that? You see that big truck going by? Um, and I can already feel the place cooling off. I can already feel the place cooling off. Pumpkin. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Wow, you guys, so the day is winding down and I'm actually just finishing up my dinner. Um, I made some brown stew chicken today and um, I cooked some like ground provision, some pumpkin, some chocho, some dasheen, some banana. So I'm actually about to finish up cooking now, make my plates and just eat some food. Let me show you guys my food. Want to tell me if you want to take me can cook. Hold on. So, I don't want it to get too um, blurry, but there's my chocho and my pumpkin and my banana and my dasheen. And over in this pot, whoo, it's a little hot right there. Over in this pot, is my brown stew chicken. Mmm, looking yum delicious. So, I'm gonna finish cooking. 
and then just plate up some good food now and sit down and enjoy a good meal you guys there's my plate looking very much delicious i have bananas the bananas were really soft so they kind of mash out a little bit the chocha my dasheen a pumpkin and my brown stew chicken so i'm about to deal with this plate now i'm going to mash it up here this is my dinner hey you guys so it's the end of the day i'm actually winding down and I'm about to head into bed, but you know, I was wondering at what point does a new house or a new space, at what point does it become a home, right? Is it the first night you spend there? Is it maybe the very first meal you cook in the kitchen in that house? Maybe it's the first time you did a little dugo dugo in. Or maybe it's the first time you cuck up on your couch, you watch a movie, you watch, you watch look at YouTube. I don't know. It, I think it's different for, for different people. But I'm cucking up now on my new couch and I'm about to find out. So I just wanted to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. And... Um, I'll catch you in the next video.